The Union Bears are angry, roar, and they're roaring, and no surrender. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football. It's Union Bears versus Rangers. It's all at war inside Ibrox. Absolutely, guys. Welcome back to Fog Football. It's a slow week. Take it easy. So it's... slow that we have to introduce you back to the channel twice. Yeah, well, you know what? <laughs> yeah, that, that's slow, baby. I like it. Yeah, just... I think that's actually all right, though. You know why? Because apparently we're the same guy. Ah, so we need to do an, an intro each day. Ah, we need to do it twice. Right, well, fair enough. Just, that, yeah. that works, that works. That works, so... It's diet hun, and it's hun. Is that it? I believe that's what I'm called by the uh, the green side of Glasgow. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get to this Union Bear statement. They've called them out. That's what I'm called by the green side of Edinburgh as well, to be fair. So you're called by everybody. Anyway... This is the Union Bear statement. It's a long one. Uh, I'll read a paragraph. You read a paragraph. Fuck it. I'll just go for it. All right. Dive uh, in. Here I, we go. I was, I was saying that because we both can't read, you know. I'm e all right, actually. E ease the workload. Uh, get your popcorn ready, guys. And here we go. The following statement from the Union Bears reads, quote, the Union Bells have always took immense pride in producing our Remembrance Day display. Unfortunately, this year, due to sanctions imposed on us by the board, our preparation and ability to carry out hundreds of man-hours required to produce such a TIFO were severely hampered. These sanctions were imposed by board members who appear to believe that punishing a focal element of the support will cover up their continuous shortcomings in the boardroom. These sanctions forced us to seek alternative venues to create Sunday's display, presenting a significant challenge to produce an extremely detailed display in a limited time frame. This display turned out to be one of the most challenging TIFOs to date, even on Sunday morning. While attempting to complete the TIFO outside the stadium, we were informed on arrival that the group were not permitted to gain access to the stadium. Footprint rematch. On our arrival at the stadium for kickoff in yet another attempt to curtail the TIFO, the access of the TIFO was initially knocked back, then delayed to the point that setting up time available for the display became near impossible. Due to its significance, we felt it was essential to complete this by any means necessary to ensure it was displayed in the Copeland pre-match. The club also restricted access to our pre-match stall, which significantly impacted our merchandise sales during a month we were raising funds to order the material required to carry out our preparations for a 125th Ibrox anniversary TIFO. Unfortunately, due to financial constraints caused by lost revenue and a lack of an opportunity to seek alternative venues at short notice to facilitate such a display that we would consider appropriate for commemorating such an occasion, we will not be commencing with our plans for an Ibrox anniversary TIFO. In recent years, we believed we held a substantial relationship, a sustainable, sorry, relationship with the club. However, in recent months, through yet another power shift, we have yet again become the focus of an ego-driven campaign by select board members who solely want to harm the group and limit our match day capability. Union Bears, no surrender. End of quote. Right, if I had to say the word TIFO one more time, I was going to lose my shit, but I, I just find it ironic, man, that... The Union Bears are talking about lost revenue and the lack of funds and now they don't have the money available to create a TIFO and I mean <laughs> it is Rangers we're talking about here. Just funds in general don't seem to be this Not club's. Not very fun, is it? Yeah, uh, funds in general just don't seem to be this club's strong point. No. Nope. Uh but I mean what what do you take for this? I'll tell you what I take for this. I think it's pretty shite for the board. I thought you were going to say it's pretty shite for the Bears. <laughs> well, no, I, the board have hampered them in every way possible here, financially and pract you know, practicality. Look, look, they're not even access them to the stadium, letting them have access to the stadium to set up the, the TIFOs properly with, within time. But that will be down to the board. See, at the end of the day, 
The Rangers board six months ago is completely different to what it is now. Let's play devil's advocate, right? Well, advocate? Dick advocate? Advocate? Uh, that's, a, that's the one. Advocate? <laughs> what? My name's Dick. Dick. Uh, all right, Richard. Um, anyway, let, let's play devil's advocate. Um, wh- why should Rangers allow them in? Well, let, let's say the current board are like, we don't like the Union Bears, we don't want them in. Why shouldn't they like them? Well, what right do they have to gain access early to the stadium? Uh, well, uh, well, technically, I guess... Well, I see you wanted that. Well, I see you wanted early access to, you know, shout abuse at Clement Fears before the game. <laughs> well, that's a bit different. Like, well, why should they be granted access over you? Union Bells. All right. Because... I know you could argue they're doing it for the good of the club, but... They're doing it for the good of the club, right? It's not just a random TIFO, right? It's to do with Remembrance Sunday, Remembrance Day, right? Also, you know, they add so much atmosphere to Ibrox. You take out the Union Bears, the atmosphere is going to be greatly affected. Could you not they argue are, lately it's been a negative atmosphere? They, well, no, you could argue that. But yeah, no, I'm, but just, I'm just not, spinning it, so you, I would you not, need to fight back. I, 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 you're spinning it, but I think the Union Bears try I'm and keep it. I'm spinning it before we Matthew Liar can spin it. So. No, but see the Union Bears, they try and keep it positive as possible. They, they keep the they keep the, uh, <laughs> the, the chins and the momentum going throughout the 90s. And can you, see, the, can you they sing, don't really turn. Can you sing some of the tunes that the Union Bears um, keep going for the 90 minutes? I, I, I could sing them all, but this isn't a musical big man, right? This is a factual... I take it these are PG friendly tunes or so some controversial ones in there. Yeah, Celtic get battered everywhere they go. Technically not factually correct at the minute, but he, they were singing that on Sunday. There was a few other ones in there. But the point is, right, without the Union Union Bears home and away support is fantastic, right? The atmosphere they add to the games and these TIFOs. But you're right, there is no, like, written bylaw that the Union Bears have to be guaranteed access to the stadium. So what can the Union Bears do about this? Yes, they've released this statement but how do they... How do they go about fixing it? Yes. I don't know. How do they implement the change? How do they work with the board in order to get early access or is it just a case of this is going to be the the way forward this ain't going to get early access if the board... like. The little money, what, what the cost, little money they've made for their stalls. They give it to the Rangers. Yeah, that's probably, probably get to so Rangers. what's cost this? What's uh, caused this rift between the Bears and the, the board? I think it'll be the pyro, um, and the fact that like Rangers have been fined recently due to like pyro related incidents. Well, can you not argue that the board are maybe right then to try and punish them? You could argue. Yeah, you you, you could say you're costing us money, things like that. Right? Wait, we, did did Celtic not ban the Green Brigade last year? I yeah. did. I feel like. Was it like 60 days? Was it two months or something? They definitely did for a Yeah, and we were, we were praising them for doing that. Yeah, but what... Well, you, that's it. Swings and roundabouts. And to, it, 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 but is the Union Bears using pyro, right? Is the Union Bears using pyro worse or on a similar level to what the Green Brigade did last year, which was, you know, promoting and glorifying terrorism? No, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying at the end of the day, I think the, the club are the ones, they've got the power, don't they? They've got the right end to... Of the, this whole thing to do with the Union Bears to do with Pyro. Celtic had the same issue with Pyro at the end of the day. I don't so, understand if the club, how... If the club wanted to take action, I wouldn't have took it hit on the build-up to this weekend, is what I'm saying. You yeah, so they should have been allowed to do their little anniversary thing and then punish them after? A little anniversary thing. Sounds like you're just throwing it completely under the bus. <laughs> but the little, what is it, 12 year anniversary? Or it was a Remembrance Sunday thing, mate. Right? None of this 12 years, 150 years, big he's years. He's biting, he's biting. Fishing rods. Cast in, see what you can catch there. Um, aye, I mean, well, it's poor. Just fucking kiss and make up. The Bears versus the board. Oh, look, Rangers need to come together here, man. Aberdeen and Celtic are getting. Or two fo- nine points in front. The, the Rangers can't implode from within. They need. They need to. You I, know, would, I would argue they've already imploded from within. <laughs> they need to all come together. They need to be on the same page. Ah, they do need to be on the same page, but they're already fighting a battle. They can't be fighting like an inner battle. It's like that. It's like that book. Winston gave back to Tam. It's a big log of shite. <laughs> That's the book the fucking Rangers have got. That's the only page in a minute. Big pile of fucking shite. And on that note, are we going to wrap it up there? I had to say so, I. Uh...
I mean, what do you what do you honestly think? Do you think the board are within the rights here, or do you think all right, that's like right, rely on guys? I mean, I guess the union bears do a lot of good stuff for the club, and it's not seems like the board aren't appreciating them here, don't it? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, like this seems to be over pyro, and like the fines that have been dished out to the club recently. Um, there's nothing new across football that happens at the end of the day. Well, I'd say to the union bears, it's just don't don't go to a few Rangers games. Don't put don't put your hard earned money into the pockets of this board and, and they will soon be uh, releasing a statement begging you to come back I can guarantee you that yeah some people can't do that though of course you can it's fucking easy nah just some people go. nah some people can't though just don't it go it courses through their veins I don't go I mean, no, no, no one's expecting you to go to Ibrox well, that's alright that's alright then if the hearts board treated me like that I wouldn't be back <laughs> I wouldn't be back Woo! He's on the hearts board. <laughs> Andrew McKinley. For the union fucking bears. <laughs> anyway, right. Let's wrap up there. It was I good banner. It was good banner for what it was. Anyway, till next time. Peace.